You could make a pretty strong argument that snakes are the most badass animals out there. They're terrifying to pretty much every species on Earth, including a lot of humans, and they got a lot of ways to kill you, it seems, including deadly venom and constriction. So are snakes totally OP? Well, not exactly. There's plenty of animals that can go head to head with a snake and come out on top. From the rodent who took revenge to the insect that has no fear. Here's 20 times snakes messed with the wrong opponent. <sighs> Number 20, a squirrel actually winning against a snake. If you're a ground squirrel, life ain't gonna be easy. You and your young are often eaten by snakes. But on the other hand, you might just have developed a few smart ways to avoid being eaten. And Scuridae rodents have shown that squirrels do indeed have both individual and group ways to avoid being eaten by snakes. The behavior of California ground squirrels when they see a snake has been studied a lot, including by your friendly narrator who lives by a ton of ground squirrels. I love those guys, they're so cute. Adult ground squirrels that live near venomous rattlesnakes have proteins that bind to the venom and actually protect protect them from bites. Ground squirrels in California are in fact perfectly suited to deal with rattlesnakes. By listening to rattlesnake sounds, they can even figure out how dangerous they are. Large snakes make rattles with lower frequency, and warm, active snakes that could be dangerous rattle a little faster than cold snakes. Squirrels let snakes know that they're around by kicking dirt and rocks in their faces. They stand up straight and they wave their tails from side to side to either scare away their rival or give the snakes a big, moving, but agile target to attack. Unlike when they see other predators, squirrels are less likely to make alarm calls when they see a snake, but snakes wouldn't hear those calls anyway. They use snake harassment, which uses the senses that the snakes are most sensitive to, which are touch and sight. Importantly, squirrels seem to be able to scare snakes away. Snakes then react defensively and may move away after being scared by squirrels. Number 19. Snake versus Secretary Bird. The secretary bird is a large bird of prey that lives mostly on land. It lives only in Africa, and it can usually be found in the sub-Saharan grasslands and savannas. Unlike most birds of prey, the secretary bird spends most of its time on land, and it hunts for food by walking. Adults hunt in pairs or loose family groups, making long strides as they move through the habitat. Their prey includes insects, small mammals like mice, hares, and mongooses, crabs, lizards, and you guessed it, you know what list this is, they eat snakes! The average length of a black mamba is between 2.5 and 3.2 meters, making it the longest venomous snake in Africa. It's also the world's fastest snake, able to move between 4.3 and 5.4 meters per second. It's got a reputation for being aggressive and very venomous. A study on mice showed that it's one of the most venomous land snakes in the whole world. In spite of this, the wind would go to the secretary bird. Their ranges overlap in some areas, so they're most definitely natural predators of black mambas. So yeah, if we take these two critters who are from the same area, the bird's gonna get good food. The mamba could be killed with just one crushing step. However, if the mamba lands a bite, the bird could be in trouble. But these expert snake catchers are very agile, and they know just what to do to not get bitten. Number 18. Scorpion attacks snake. It's really quite amazing. It's a fact of life that animals often fight with each other. One example is the war between snakes and scorpions, which has been going on for many years. One of these animals always seems to be trying to kill the other. So which animal has the upper hand? Are scorpions mean animals that hide in shadows until they have a chance to sting a person and kill them? Actually, no. Scorpions are shy, and they only sting people when they feel threatened. They come out at night and sleep in burrows, under wood piles, rocks, or other small, dark places during the day. Scorpions do like to fight snakes. That is true. When a snake bites a scorpion, it's pretty likely that the scorpion will bite back. Scorpions use their venom to kill or paralyze their prey, which are usually insects. However, larger scorpions can eat small lizards and mice. In the US, there's about 70 different types of scorpions, but only one, the bark scorpion, could kill a human. Even in the case of a bark scorpion, death from a scorpion sting is pretty rare, and serious cases can be treated with anti-venom. Number 17. Cat kills a snake. 
Snakes have a reputation for being dangerous and scary, but that doesn't mean that they aren't afraid of animals that can sneak around quietly and are bigger than them. Many animals can scare a snake, and it's very likely that the snake would be scared of a cat. Snakes try to stay away from cats. If the snake can't get away, it'll try to defend itself by hissing, rearing up, shaking its tail, striking, stuff like that. Cats scare snakes because they move quickly, attack with their claws and teeth, and they're bigger than most snake species. Cats have unique personalities, and some of them are more curious or more aggressive than others. Snakes are the same way. The more aggressive a snake is, the more likely that it will attack a cat if it sees one in the wild. So, do cats scare snakes? Scare might not be the right word. Even though fear is dealt with the simplest part of the brain, it works differently in animals than in people. What can be said for sure is that when snakes see cats, they'll either run away or get angry. If a cat and a snake fight, you might see all of these things happen. Unless it's trapped, the snake will do everything it can to get away from the cat. But if it can't get away, it will protect itself. Snakes are just as scared of cats as cats are of snakes. This is especially true if the cat has never seen a snake before. But once a cat gets over how curious it was at first, it might attack. And this can be dangerous for both the kitty and the snake. Number 16. Rooster and Chicken versus Cobra in this clip shot in India, we see a rooster displaying a lot of courage when it fights off a cobra that was after its chicks. The venomous snake is coiled up defensively with its hood out, and it strikes the rooster several times. But the bird's quick pecking lets it hit the snake in a way that keeps the rooster safe while the cobra twists and tries to get away. The rooster pushes the cobra away from the other chickens by dropping down and pecking at it, or by running with the snake dangling from its beak. The rooster's bobbing movements seem to be good for this kind of fight because they make it harder for the cobra to strike with its venom. At the end of the fight, the rooster eats the weakened snake whole. Whoa, it's just sliding it into its beak as the snake's muscles coil out a few more times without doing anything. Perhaps you'll think about this next time you're about to call someone chicken. It's actually not unusual for birds to eat snakes, and roosters have been known to kill and eat venomous snakes when they have to. Domesticated roosters are always on the lookout for animals that might want to eat chickens or their eggs. However, sometimes a big snake will win and kill the chickens in a coop and eat the eggs that they laid. Nature is like Jerry Seinfeld, always finds a way to have things balance out in the end. The snake in this video is probably a king cobra, a species that lives mostly in the rainforest and plains of India, southern China, and southeast Asia. They'll also eat lizards, as well as eggs and birds. All cobras are venomous, and one bite contains enough neurotoxin to kill 20 people. Despite this, they tend to be shy, but when cornered, they are very dangerous. Number 15. Monitor Lizard versus Snake Monitor lizards are large lizards that live in Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Most people think of the Komodo dragon when they hear these reptiles mentioned, but they're just the most well-known type and not actually a good representation of the whole genus. There's lots of other species, but they're usually smaller and less able to protect themselves from danger. But these lizards live in the same area as many other dangerous animals, like snakes. Let's consider a fight between a king cobra and a monitor lizard. Which animal would win? The main differences between a king cobra and a monitor lizard are how big they are, how they move, and how they kill their prey. King cobras can grow up to 19 feet long and weigh 20 pounds. They move by slithering on the ground, and they kill their prey with powerful poison. Monitor lizards can be anything from 8 inches to 10 feet long, weigh anywhere from 2 to 366 pounds, move quickly on the ground, and kill their prey with brutal tearing bites. Most of the time, an average monitor lizard will be too small or move too slowly to beat a king cobra. As soon as the cobra bites the monitor lizard, a timer starts counting down until it dies. A big monitor lizard, on the other hand, might be able to fight back. It might even grab the king cobra by the head and bite down, but it has to make sure that it strikes first and last for the kill. Because all it takes is one cobra bite, and that would change things instantly. Number 14. Snake versus Rabbit in Big Fights This exciting new video shows a mother rabbit trying to protect her young from a snake. In the background, you can hear children yelling, bite it, bite it. 
that no one knows where the attack took place. But we do know that the snake was a black rat snake that's not venomous. Still, this is one pretty badass rabbit. Because rabbits are prey animals, their mothers stay away from them when they're not nursing. They prefer to hide them and hope for the best. But even if the mother rabbit isn't close by, it doesn't mean that the babies are orphans. If you want to make sure the bunnies are okay, check on them in the morning and see if their bellies are warm and round. This means mom is taking care of them and that the mother is probably still alive. There's an old myth that says rabbits will leave their young if humans touch them, but this is false. Still, it is better to keep contact to a minimum if you have baby bunnies around and just make sure they're doing okay. Number 13, snake versus honey badger. Honey badgers are often thought to be some of the toughest animals in the world. They look for fights with bigger animals and most of the time they win or at least tie. When a honey badger meets a snake, what happens? We'll show you what happens when a honey badger and a snake fight and which animal wins. Honey badgers and snakes are very different in terms of size, shape, and how they hunt. Honey badgers are bigger than the average snake. Unlike snakes, they have four legs and they hunt by chasing their prey. Snakes, on the other hand, catch their prey by surprise. Honey badgers have thick skin that's tough to bite through. They also have a strong smell that makes most other mammals think twice about attacking them. Also, honey badgers have an unusual ability to avoid getting sick from rattle venom. Snakes have plenty of scary ways to show how dangerous they are. They can also hide in trees and use camouflage to stay safe from enemies. In this particular showdown, honey badgers are better able to protect themselves than snakes. Honey badgers will almost always kill a snake if they fight it. They live in Africa, which has some of the world's most dangerous snakes. Honey badgers don't try to avoid snakes. Instead, they kill and eat them on a regular basis. So what happens if the snake bites the honey badger? Well, even if the honey badger gets bitten, it probably would just kill the snake before the venom could do any harm. The honey badger would then lie down, wait for the effects of the venom to wear off, and then finish eating its dinner. Number 12, snake versus mongoose. King cobras are venomous snakes that are very dangerous, we've seen that. But some animals are quick, smart, and strong, so they attack these terrifying snakes. We'll take a look at a fight between a king cobra and a mongoose, and tell you which animal would win. In a fight, a mongoose could kill a king cobra. The mongoose, like the honey badger, hunts venomous snakes as its main source of food wherever it lives. These animals have some defense against venomous snake bites, which gives them an edge in the fight. The king cobra will probably have to bite the mongoose more than once to get rid of it. The mammal, on the other hand, is much faster and more agile. and it can break a snake's skull with just one bite. So to start the fight, the mongoose runs around the king cobra, watching how it reacts and looking for a way in. Because the king cobra stands up to fight, it'll have to turn its head to follow the mongoose at some point. After a few hints, the mongoose will see an opening and bite the cobra to death. Number 11, snake versus baby iguana. This clip is pretty scary to watch, and it looks like the poor iguana is going to die when it gets tangled up with a bunch of snakes. However, the reptile wriggles out of the mob, scrambles up the rocks, making a dramatic leap to safety as one snake lunges with its mouth wide open in a last-ditch effort to catch its prey. The young iguana, which is just a hatchling, instinctively stays still at first to avoid being seen. When it becomes clear that the snake is going to strike, the iguana starts running, and the racer snakes come out of the cracks in the rocks rocks along the beach to join the chase. But the iguana is just too fast. This is a great win, but just so you know, not every iguana is as lucky. Eventually, someone's gotta get eaten. However, in case anyone wondered, this is in no way an example of snakes hunting in a group. No snakes ever do that. There's just a lot of snakes in that part of the beach, and if one of them smells food and starts to move, the others follow. Number 10, snake versus hedgehog. Hedgehogs have a lot of enemies in the wild. The wild's a cruel place, and hedgehogs are neither as big nor as strong as lions or tigers, sadly for them. But they do have sharp pointy quills, and they can actually defend themselves from many animals. Hedgehogs can even be seen attacking and eating snakes. Can that really happen? Well, take a look and see for yourself. Yeah, snakes are part of the diet of many types of hedgehogs in the wild, especially vipers. This means that hedgehogs go out at night and kill snakes to eat. Scientists found that some hedgehogs are immune to the venom of these snakes. 
For many people, it's hard to imagine a small creature like a hedgehog on the hunt for snakes. Still, that's how things are in the wild. Hedgehogs are nocturnal, which means that they do their searching for food at night. Snakes and hedgehogs almost never meet during the day. The quills on a hedgehog's back are basically its armor. The hedgehog makes the viper angry, so the snake rushed at its prickly opponent without thinking. Each time it attacks, the viper is wounded from the hedgehog that's curled up into a ball. At some point, the snake's body will have too many cuts. They can't attack well anymore. And that's the exact moment when the hedgehog makes its next move. They bite the snake a few times on its neck. With all the snake's vertebrae crushed, that's the killing blow. Hedgehogs start by eating the snake's head, and the rest goes down like a tasty dinner. Wow. So basically all that time I spent playing Sonic the Hedgehog as a kid, I didn't realize that he was way more brutal than I thought. At least hedgehogs don't attack foxes, so we know that that relationship between Sonic and Tails is safe. I actually don't know if they attack foxes or not. I just need that to be true. Number 9. Snake versus Turkey some videos on the internet are both interesting and scary at the same time. This turkey and snake fight video is a great addition to that list. The clip starts out with a shot of a snake lying on green grass in a yard. There's also a turkey standing nearby. At first, the bird moves slowly towards the snake, but soon it began pulling on the snake's tail. Even though the snake tries to get away, it doesn't stop the bird. At the end of the video, the snake goes into a bush and is no longer seen. Victory to the turkey! So do turkeys kill snakes? Yeah, turkeys kill snakes. Turkeys are omnivores. That means they eat both plants and meat. They don't care what kind of meat they eat, so they eat everything. Turkeys eat snakes, frogs, mice, and other critters. Number eight, dog versus snake. The last thing you wanna see your best furry friend doing is being confronted by a snake. Dogs are vulnerable to snakes, but they're also brave. They'll try to protect you from them. However, there are smarter ways in which you and your dog can work together to stay safe from snakes. Usually, if your dog smells a snake, it'll let its nose do the talking. Look at their noses to see if they're twitching, sniffing too much, or pointing up in the air. This is the first sign that they can tell something's going on. Some dog breeds like Beagles, Basset Hounds, Jack Russell Terriers, and Bloodhounds are very good at smelling snakes. Most snakes probably won't want to be near dogs. They're bigger, louder, and not exactly a convenient snack. Snakes are likely to stay away if you just have your dog around. Still, you might wander into a snake's territory by accident. If you do, there's ways to train your dog to keep snakes away, or to keep you away from their territory. Number 7. Serval versus Snake The serval is sometimes called the cat of spare parts because of its long legs, long neck, and big ears. But when put together, these cats' strange body parts make them very good hunters. In fact, servals are one of the best hunters among wild cats because they catch their prey in more than half of their attempts. That's about 20% better than a pride of lions hunting together. This video is groundbreaking because it shows a well-developed and highly refined way to hunt. Servals have learned to hunt venomous snakes by making them strike back, which tires out the snake and makes them easier to kill and eat. This is another defensive master of the snake kill, like the hedgehog. Of all the different feline types, serval cats are among the most successful reptile hunters. The speed of the death adder is unreal, and the serval was able to time its strikes, which is even more impressive. Then it bites it and holds it in place with the top of its head, and it's all over for the fearsome death adder. Number 6. Asian Bullfrog versus Snake we know that many types of snakes are harmful. When you compare snakes to frogs, the fact that snakes can eat frogs doesn't make them seem like they're that close of a match. But what about the other way around? Could a frog eat a snake? You might be surprised. Turns out that some frogs can, in fact, eat snakes. Smaller frogs can't, though, because the snakes are too big for them to eat. However, big frogs often eat snakes. They like to eat smaller snakes that don't have any venom. But if they can't find any, they will eat bigger snakes that do. As a way to protect themselves from predators, many types of frogs have poisonous glands on their skin. These frogs can even people. As we've already seen, frogs like small snakes that don't bite. They also eat the ones that are venomous, but the small ones might just taste better. Even with all that, snakes are not a frog's main source of food. Frogs eat insects for the most part, and they do have a particular preference of snakes. They wouldn't eat the snake unless they had to, and it doesn't seem likely that they enjoy snakes as a meal very much. One species of frog that can eat a snake is the bullfrog. Bullfrogs are very adaptable, and they've been known to eat everything from fish to birds to snakes. 
Number five, lion versus spitting cobra. People often call kings the animals that they think are the most dangerous or the most powerful. That's definitely how the king cobra got its name, even though it's not, in fact, a cobra. People use the same kind of reasoning when they call the lion the king of the jungle, even though it lives in savannas. Imagine that these two kings got lost and ran into each other in the wild, where they got into a fight. Who would win if they were to fight? The lion would beat the king cobra in a fight. The lion has a lot going for it that would help it do this. For one thing, the lion only has to bite the king cobra once to kill it. If it took off running, it could grab the snake in its paws and bite off its head before the snake could do anything. Even if there was a surprise attack by the snake, the lion would still win this fight. Most likely, the king cobra would raise its head and wait for the lion to get close enough to strike. Even though the snake is quick, a single bite won't kill the lion that quickly. Either the lion wins quickly and easily, or the cobra bites the lion and kills the lion slowly, but not before the angry lion demolishes the snake. Number four, mantis versus snake. The praying mantis is an amazing insect. That can't be denied. The praying mantis eats meat and blends in with its surroundings like a tiny green tiger. It gets its name from the way that its front legs are bent in a praying motion. Most species of mantis are green or brown, so they can blend in with the foliage and other plants. This lets them stalk insects like flies and grasshoppers with patience. These guys are scary. They're predators that kill prey three times their size. Mantises eat bugs, mice, small turtles, and sometimes even snakes. Praying mantises strike twice as fast as you can blink and then slowly eat their unfortunate prey. Most people think of the praying mantis as a good insect because it eats many different kinds of insects that could injure people. The native Carolina mantis and the non-native Chinese mantis are both common praying mantis species in the US and you'd better believe they can handle a snake. Check this guy out. Well, in this clip, the mantis clearly beat the snake, but I feel bad for the snake because he didn't even want to fight. And snakes don't have any limbs, which can make it hard for them to win these kinds of fights. But still, that mantis is just brutal. Number three, snake versus alligator. Before pythons were brought into the Florida Everglades years ago, these big snakes and alligators did not live together in the wild. Now, the two are fighting to be top predator in these swampy areas. So, if a python and an alligator were to fight, which one would win? We have enough videos of the two interacting to know how most fights go, but we can also use information about both creatures to figure out what makes one of them win. Most of the time, an alligator would beat a python in a fight. To be clear, this is assuming that the alligator is full grown. Alligators can scare off or kill a python when they're at full size. To kill an alligator, a python would have to be much longer and stronger than it. This does happen in the wild sometimes though, but the average adult alligator is way more likely to be big enough to kill an average adult python. There's many ways that the fight could start, but the most likely place is near the water. Alligators love it when prey sneaks into their water so they can pounce and destroy them. The alligator would bite and twist, making it hard for the python to wrap around it and kill its opponent. Number two, snake versus kangaroo rat. A group of researchers found that the desert kangaroo rats protect themselves from dangerous rattlesnakes by moving quickly, jumping high, and kicking like ninjas while in the air. About 81% of snake strikes against the kangaroo rat were accurate, but only 40% of the time did the snake actually bite the kangaroo rat. And only 22% of the time did it hold on long enough to kill and eat the kangaroo rat. All of this is thanks to some Jackie Chan style defensive moves from this amazing rat. The slowed down videos show how important kangaroo rats long tails, strong legs, and ability to move around in the air are for getting away from predators. To stay away from a rattlesnake strikes at night when it's hunting, you must be very fast and athletic. Kangaroo rats have both of these in spades. Number one. Red-tailed hawk versus snake. Next up, let's find out why a red-tailed hawk's diet really leaves snakes feeling rattled. Red-tailed hawks eat a lot of snakes because they're skilled hunters who can kill and eat animals that are way bigger than themselves. Red-tailed hawks and other hawks can get proteins, fats, and minerals from snakes, which are important for their health. Most of the time, red-tailed hawks look for snakes by flying low to the ground and scanning the area. 
Once the hawk sees a snake, it'll swoop down and grab it in its talons. The hawk will then bring the snake to a perch and eat it there. Hawks don't often hunt snakes, but red-tailed hawks seem to like rattlesnakes more than other snakes. At certain times of the year, they can actually be a pretty big part of what they eat. So even these menacing snakes can never be too relaxed with all these powerful birds flying around them. Which one of these snake killers surprised you the most? Are there any other animals that you think could defeat a snake we didn't put on the list? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.